Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session of questions for this morning. Topic for this morning, the benefit of speedy answers to prayers. Topic one more time, the benefit of speedy answers to prayers. Post Muhammad Salabuka K. On that series, mm -hmm. benefit of true fasting and prayers. Text mm -hmm. taken from the book of Isaiah 58, from verse 6 down to 9. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for the praise and anointing. Thank you for your mercy that have kept us. We've come to hear from you this morning. You said in Hebrew chapter 4, verse 4, your word is quick and powerful, sharper than even two edges for piercing into the asunder of our soul and our spirit. Father, let your word pierce into our soul, pierce into our bones, pierce to our spirit today in the name of Jesus. Grant us understanding of your word and grace to become doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time benefit of speedy answers to prayers. Under the series, benefits of true fasting and prayers. Host my humble self, look at K text Isaiah 58 6 to 9. I read from verse 6. It's not just the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heaven body, let the, the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Verse 7 said, Is it not to deal that bread to the hungry and that that bring? And you bring the poor that cast, bring them to your house. When you see the naked, you clothe them. Said in verse 9, then shall thou call. I take verse 9 again. Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here am I. If thou take away from the midst of thee, then you will put him forth of the finger and speak in vanity. May the Lord bless his word and grant understanding in Jesus' name. For that reason, Genesis chapter 24, from verse 1 down to 40. It's part of the book of time. I can't read verse 1. said, And Abraham was old and went strict in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And in verse 2, And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of the house, that ruled over all that he had, put, I pray, in the hand under my tongue. And the servant did that. He said, And I swear in verse 3, And I will make this swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, and that the God of the earth, that thou should not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. Verse 4 said, But thou shalt go unto my country, to my kindred, and to take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the Lord God of heaven, which took me in verse 7 from my father's house and brought me to the land, to this land, said, Unto thy seed will I give all of this land. Said, He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from tents. He said, and if the woman will not be willing to follow you, that shall be cleared from this oath. Only bring out my son, Tita, again. And of course, we saw Abraham's servant went down to the country town where Abraham was from. And he prayed a prayer. He said, when I request for water for my cattle, let whoever, a female, let us say, I'm not just going to give you, I'm also going to feed your cattle. And look at what happened in verse 14 said, and let it come to pass that the damsel said to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink, I will give thy cattle drink also. Let the same be that I have appointed for my servant Isaac. And of course, we saw that came to pass. The daughter of Micah, talking about uh, Nabal Abraham's brother, which was preached under her, she, uh, she had. A pigeon on her shoulder, looking about Rebecca, she came, she was a virgin, a damsel very fair to look upon, in verse 16, of course, said no man has knew her, she filled her pigeon and came up, gave it to him, he said in verse 17, and the servant ran to meet her and said, let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of the pigeon, and she said, drink my lord, and she hasted, and laid down her pigeon upon her hand and gave it, and of course he drank. And of course, she also said she was going to give the animals, and that she did. And the man said, that is the wife of my servant. You can complete that scripture down to verse 40. And that was how Isaac got a wife by the leading of the Lord God, answered Abraham's servant speedily. I pray, God will hear you speedily as you call on him in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 143 from verse 1 said, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications in thy faithfulness and sounding and in thy righteousness. As David prayed there, we saw David, when he wants to go to war, he asked the Lord, Lord, shall I pursue after this troop? Will I recover? Will I? The Lord said, go. And of course, he goes and he returned with testimony on several occasions. Anytime he was going to war, he was asking God, 
if he's going to be victorious, and of course, God will hear him. I pray going forward. Anytime you go on your news to pray, help us we answer in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 12, 16 verse 1 said, The preparations of the heart is man, and the answers of the tongue is from the Lord. God will always give you answers in Jesus' name. Isaiah 65, 19 to 24 said, And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. You will be his people indeed, and you will joy by you in Jesus' name. He said, The voice of weeping shall not be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Verse 22 said, they shall not build and not die in happy. They shall not plant and not eat. For as the days of a tree are of my people, said, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. That's your portion in Jesus' name. Look at where I'm going. He said in verse 24, and it shall come to pass that before the call, I will answer. That is your testimony. That is your new realm in the name of Jesus. He said, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear that will be a testimony in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 4 to 11 said, Ask and it shall be given unto you, seek and it shall find, no can shall be opened unto you. Verse 8 said, For everyone that asketh receive it, and he that seeketh find it, and whom that knocketh, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. He said in verse 9, Oh, what man is there of you, whom if your son asks for bread, that will give him a stone, or if he asks for fish, you give him a serpent? He said, no. He said it was 11. And then, if he had been evil, know how to give good gift unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? I pray. Anytime you go to pray, sincerely from your heart, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will answer you supernaturally and speedily in the name of Jesus. I can't remember any subject I've gone down on my knees sincerely to pray for that I don't have answers for. I remember a colleague was down, went through surgery some days back. Myself and my wife held our hands and we began to pray for her. She's getting much more, much, much better. Went to, so I saw her on Monday in the hospital. I don't, didn't like what I see. The pain was severe. We went back upon the prayer altar. As I speak with you today, she can eat, she can ease herself, she's better. I'm sure they're going to discharge her very shortly. I pray the next time you go on your knees to pray concerning any matter, heaven, heaven will respond in the name of Jesus. One more time, we're looking at the topic, benefits of speedy answers to prayers on that series, benefits of truth, fasting, and prayers. Host my humble self, look at Kate text the book of Isaiah 58 from 6 to 9. We've read that before that reading. Uh, Genesis chapter 24 from verse 1 to 40 we saw abraham's servant prayed god giving speedy answer and god answered him psalm 143 verse 1 talking about david our father praying to god who is hear him and of course we, we know that he will receive answers from the lord instantly before he goes for war ask god for direction god is giving him good answers project 16 verse 1 as i 65 19 to 24 24 said while they are speaking out here that's your new realm Matthew 7, 7 down to 11. Please don't beg you to let your time read the scriptures again. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. A man blew word for this morning is when a man prays, when a man prays, only God answers. The prayer remains the need. Take it again. When a man prays, only God answers, the prayer remains a question and a need. I take it again. When a man prays, until God answers, the prayer remains a need. And a question. Think about it. Today we'll look at a topic: benefits of speedy answers to prayers on the teaching series on benefit of true fasting and prayers. But first, by introduction, let's recognize that answers to any prayers is heaven's responsibility and not a man's responsibility. Man's duty is to call on heaven in prayers, while heaven's call is to respond with answers. Meaning, prayers is of men, while answers is of God. What I'm trying to say is that until God answers your prayers, your prayers remain a need indeed. Remember in Proverbs 16 verse 1 said that preparation of the heart is man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So accept the Lord until the Lord answers you. Your prayers remain a question. But I pray going forward, God will answer you. Those things you've asked in the past and beginning of the year, God will answer you in Jesus' name. Thank God the year is still fresh. You still have room to make them up. Make a list of the things you want to achieve for the year. <clears throat> I think I've done that already. Make a list of the things you are trusting God for. 
or put them into your hands in Jesus' name. So, until God responds to your prayers, your dilemma or your prayers remains. That remains with you. Because no man has the capacity to answer his or another person's prayers. Take that again. No man has capacity to answer his own prayers or the prayers of others. So we all look up to God for answers. God grants us understanding in Jesus' name. Second Chron Chronicles chapter 30, verse 19. Of course, talking about our prayers, we have to call on God before he will answer. Of course, for Samuel, chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 28. Look at the account of Anna there, how she received answers from the Lord. Let me read uh, First Samuel chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 28. He said, Elkanah, referring to Elkanah, I'll skip some verses, so please pardon me. He said, Now, there was a certain man of Ramathiasm of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Bilo, the son of Tuhu, the son of Fu, and Ephrathah. He said in verse 2, And he had two wives. The name of one was Anna, and the other was Phinea. Phinea had children, Anna does not have, because of course Elkanah loved Anna, and the Lord shot her womb and all that. So each time they want to go for a function or to Shiloh to go and pray, he give offering to the other children and the wife and only give a portion to Anna. And of course, Phinea keep on provoking Anna, keep on provoking Anna. And she went to Shiloh this time around asking God for a child. Said about seven. And as she did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. And it was it. And Elkanah said, and said, Elkanah, her husband, to Anna, Why weepest thou? Why are you not eating? Am I not worth more than ten sons? And it was ten. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto God and wept so. And she vowed a vow, said, If you give me a man child, I will dedicate him back to you. And while she was praying, the prophet of God, Eli, Marked her mouth, thought she was drunk. She said, I'm not drunk. I'm only a woman of a sorrowful heart. Now, Anna, she's speaking her heart. Only her lips moved in verse 13, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she was drunk, but she said she wasn't. And of course, in verse 17, then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee that petition that I have asked of him. And she went, and in verse 18, and they arose. And they returned back to their house, and Elkanah knew Anna his wife, and the Lord remembered her. And of course, she conceived in verse 20. Therefore, it came to pass when the time was come about after Anna had conceived. Of course, she brought her daughter son and called his name Samuel. said, Because I've asked him of the Lord. And of course, in verse 24, and when she had weaned him, she took him for dedication to Eli in Shiloh. Child was young, and it was 26, and she said, Oh Lord God, as the soul liver, I am that woman that was praying for a child. Now, this is the testimony. The Lord has granted me my petition. Now I have lent him to the Lord. I pray, God who answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are trusting God for, is it a job? Is it financial breakthrough? Is it favor? Is it spiritual upliftment? You want to study the Bible the best you can? Whatever you are trusting God for, I see God. Grant you your heart desires in the name of Jesus. The same way God granted Anna her testimony. I see God granting you your own testimony also in Jesus. Then Luke chapter 11, from verse 1, or let me read from verse 9 down to 14. Of course, he said, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. He said, Forever. One that asketh receive it, and him that seeketh find it, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Look how I said it was eleven. If a son asks bread, will your father give him a stone? If he asks for fish, will they give him a snake? So they won't give him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. He said, If we being evil know how to do good gifts to our children, how much more our heavenly father give the Holy Ghost to them that ask to them. When father said verse 14, and he was casting out a devil, and he was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out that they don't speak and the people wondered. Going forward, people will wonder as you pray, heaven will put into your hands. In Jesus' name. Very quickly, we'll be looking at a subtopic. 
what are the real benefits of true fasting and prayers? And we've seen three points. We saw the benefit of setting for the top. So another the benefit of great power, which is another point, the benefit of transfiguration and transformation. Please, I want to charge you to the leisure time bridges. You can reference all of the teaching series on this platform. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. One more time, subtopic, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. Over dwelling on the benefit of speedy answers to prayers. The benefit of what? Speedy answers to prayers. This simply is enjoying a prompt supply of things asked of the Lord from the prayer and fasting altar. Take it again. We're looking at subtopic, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. And we're looking at the benefit of speedy answers to prayers. Where I'm to say this simply is enjoying a prompt supply of things asked of the Lord from the prayer and fasting altar. Of course, in Numbers chapter 16, from verse 3 down to 25, the call of time I can read, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord. And when Moses had it, he fell upon his face, and he spake unto Korah and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow, verse 5, the Lord will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him, even him whom he chooseth will he cause to come near unto him. We read further down to verse 21. He said, Separate yourself from among this congregation, the Lord telling. Uh, Moses and Aaron said, separate yourself from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. Speedy answers. And it was 20 that Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own will, on my own mind of God. The Lord sent me to do all of this in verse 30. For if the Lord make a new thing and the earth open her mouth and swallow them with all that are pertaining unto them, and they go down quickly to the pit, then ye shall understand that this man are provoked the Lord. And it was 31. And it came to pass that he has made an end of speaking all this word, that the ground cleft asunder, that made the ground open, there was an earthquake. Of course, it was 32. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them, and their houses, and all the men that are pertaining unto Korah, and all the goods. And verse 33, they and all that appertain to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all children of Israel ran round about, fled, crying and shouting that, oh, he is going to swallow them. But no, the anger was on Korah and his company. And verse 35, and the Lord came out, and there came out a fire from the Lord, talking about instant answer, instant judgment, and consumed 250 men. Offer incense. I pray every one of your enemy in the year 2020 that will open up and swallow them in the name of Jesus. As you go on your knees to pray, God will answer you speedily in Jesus' name. Second Kings chapter 1 from verse 3 down to 15. Pardon me, please, because of time. So, but the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, the Tishbite, arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and say unto him, it is not because there is no God of Israel that ye inquire of Bazabu, the God of Ekron, said in verse 4, now therefore, thou says the Lord, thou shalt not come down from the bed on which thou art gone up. Shabir you are sick, said, thou shalt surely die. And Elijah departed, met them on the way and told them. And they returned back and told the king, ah, we made a prophet on the way, said you are going to die, king. The king was furious and was said, and the king answered and said, how is the man? Is it an hurry man? That God with a garret of leader about his line. They said, Yes. He said, That is Elijah, the Tishbite. And the verse 9. The king sent unto him a captain of 50, which is 50. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat at the top of the hill and speak unto them. He said, Thou man of God, the king have asked, Come down. And Elijah in verse 10 said, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven to consume you and your 50. And the fire came down, consumed them. And it was 11. Again, he sent unto him another captain of 50, which is 50. And answered and said, O man of God, thou said the king, come down quickly. And it was 12. What an insult, Elijah said. Elijah said, answered and said, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee. 
and left it. And the fire of the Lord came down from heaven and consumed him and the fifty. Second of all, instant answers to prayers. That will be a new realm in the name of Jesus. Because in verse 13, he sent again a captain of the third fifty and his fifty. And the third captain with his fifty came and fell on his feet, on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said, Oh man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of this fifty be precious in thy sight. He doesn't want to die. He recognized the error of the first and the second battalions and he decided to take dressing from this. And it was 14. Like what happened. The Lord said, go with him. Before Elijah now went to the king, but told the king that you will not come down from the seedbed. And after all, the king died. You can complete that scripture down to of course first kings chapter 2 chapter 18 from verse 19 down to 39 talking about elijah himself now challenging the prophet of baal for a prayer answering you know a competition they want to see who go here for say give us two bullocks first kings 18 23 Say, give us two bullets. Let them take one. Let me take one. Prepare an altar. Call upon your God. Let fire come down. I'll do mine. They did theirs. No fire. He did his own. Fire came down instantly. Verse 19. Talking about preparing a fog. So each time you prepare and you call on God, He will answer. I pray. Going forward. God will answer you. Your heart cry in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anything you set your heart to see God for, God will grant you your heart desire in Jesus' name. Don't forget Isaiah 53, 58, from verse 6 down to 9, an anchor scripture. He said, this is the kind of fast I'm choosing. You give bread to the hungry, bring the naked to your heart. When you do all of that, then when you're called, I will answer. He said, when thou cry, I will say, yeah, man said if thou take away from the midst of the, the yoke that means any body you take it off to put him forth of the finger and speak in vanity i pray god will begin to hear you in jesus name i remember sometimes first a prayer friend of mine said uh Kephas, i don't understand and the lord have never spoken to me if when i pray i don't receive answer he was asking me why why and when I pray, I do come out to say the Lord has spoken to me. Last years back when we were much little, and I told him, I said, Do you know why? He said, I said, Perhaps the things written in the Bible that God said we should do, you are not doing them. So if you don't do the ones written in the Bible, the ones that you can't see, how can He give you further instruction? So until you do the ones written, He won't speak to you. I pray going forward, when you go down to pray, go here in Jesus' name, Matthew 7 7. Ask and shall be given unto you. You can, you shall find. Seek and you shall find. Knock and shall be opened to you. Said, He that asketh, receive it. He that knocketh shall be opened unto you. Said, If we, if women know how to could give, could give to our children, how much more have we found? Give the Holy Ghost the ask. That's what Luke said. But John, the Matthew said, Give good gift to them that ask. I pray. God will begin to give you good gifts in Jesus' name. Matthew 11, 20, 26 said, And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the road. Remember, Jesus was hungry. He went to the tree to get food. There was no food. And he caused the fig tree. He said, no one eat of you going forward. And it was 21. And Peter calling to remember and said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which are caused at it with that way. And it was 21. And Jesus answered and said unto, unto them, have faith in God. For verily, verse 23, I say unto you, if you have, he said, for verily, I say unto you, that whatsoever you shall say unto this mountain, whosoever I say unto this mountain, be that removed and be that cast to the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things you have said shall come to pass, and shall have whatsoever he asks, whatsoever he said. In verse 24, said, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I pray, you will have all your prayer requests in the name of Jesus. Verse 25 said, And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye ought another. So this is the principle. If you stand to pray, forgive if anyone hurts you. So that Heavenly Father, forgive your trespasses. I will grant you your petition. Say, but if you refuse to forgive, then Heavenly Father will not forgive you. But I pray you will forgive, and God will forgive you as well in Jesus' name. 
at John 11, 28 to 44, said, and when she also said, she went away and called Mary, her sister secretly, and said, the master has come and called for thee. And of course, Jesus said in verse 41, take away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lit up his eyes and said, Father, offend thee, for thou have heard me. It's to show that God's going to grant him what? Instant answer. And verse 42, he said, and I knew that I hear it me on always because of this people, let him know that I do this because you've sent me. And it was 43. And when he thought I've spoken, he cried to the Lord for his last of his comfort. And he that was dead came forth, bound her and pulled the grave clothes, and his face was bound. And Jesus said, Lose him and let him go. That's a Lazarus walked out of the grave because Jesus is the man that always commands instant answers. I pray God will continue to give you instant answers in the name of Jesus. One more time, subtopic, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. And we dwell on the benefit of speedy answers to prayers. When Father to say this simply is enjoying a prompt supply of things asked of the Lord from the prayer and fasting of water. Carry Numbers 16, 3 to 25, Second Kings 1, 3 to 15, First Kings 18, 19 to 39, Second Chronicles chapter 30, verse 19. Isaiah 58, 6 to 9, Matthew 7, 7 to 11, Matthew 11, 20 to 26, and lastly, John chapter 11, verse 26, down to 44. Please, I want to beg you at the ledge of time, read the scriptures again. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, let's recognize that without adequate preparations before prayers, such that is void of anger, guilt, envy, bitterness, scriptural emptiness, and fear, our prayers will be barren. But I pray your prayers will not be barren because you call to the prayer altar adequately prepared with scriptural backup in Jesus' name. Speedy answers to prayers is God's intention for us when we call in truth and in faith on the prayer altar. However, which are true fitting in Jesus, no prayers can be answered. Meaning, we have to say yes to Jesus in truth before our prayers were sent to heaven. Remember, the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto the Lord. So unto your prayer is void of anger, guilt, envy, bitterness, scriptural emptiness, fear, and of course, ambiguity, and of course, anxiousness, then you are not setting for an answer. So if you want to say yes to Jesus, to have a new heart, to stand and write in the prayer altar, I want to pray with you. But before then, look at Second Chronicles chapter 12, uh, verse 14 said, And he did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. So anytime we don't prepare our heart to seek the Lord in prayer or in fasting, it is evil. And of course, we can't receive anything from the Lord. Second Chronicles 27, verse 6 says, So Jotan became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord. So anytime you prepare your ways for the Lord before going to the prayer altar, you are sure to return with amazing testimonies. And that will be your portion in Jesus. And Psalm 143, verse 1 said, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear my supplications in thy faithfulness, answer me, and in thy righteousness. Well, no, David, before he goes to the Lord, he began to give God reasons why God must answer him. And no wonder David was the man that always received answers each time we pray. Look for 1 to 14. We see Jesus prepared his way before he began having prompt answers. He went to John the Baptist in the wilderness to be baptized in Jordan. And afterward, he was on the mountain for 40 days praying and fasting. And when he came out, we saw the miracles and the signs and wonders that he commanded. He was a marvel to everyone because each time he prayed, answers come. And when he stood in the tomb of Lazarus in John chapter 11, he called Lazarus out of the grave, and that's what it came for. God, I shall three Christ and redeem us from the cost of the Lord. You want to be free from every guilt when you stand praying. You want to be free from holding people in mind, grudges, and bitterness. I want to pray with you, place your hand on your chest, bow your head, and say, Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner, forgive me my sins. I know you come to this earth for my sake, you died. On the third day, you rose from my freedom right now. I confess with Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me. Wash me with your blood and purify me. And write my name in the book of life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, grant me a new heart. I come to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, from verse 25 to 27. Grant me a new heart and a new spirit. Wash me with your blood. Thank you for hearing me from Jesus in my prayer. Amen. We take two prayers. First prayer. Jesus, as I wait on you through this season, Jesus, as I wait on you through this season, launch me into the lakes of men that you answer before they pray. In Jesus' name, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24 said, And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are here speaking, I will hear. That will be a new lake, that will be a new realm, that will be a new uh, 
team in the name of Jesus. This understanding say, Jesus, as I wait in you, as I wait on you in truth, the season launch me into the league of men. That before they call, you answer in the name of Jesus. Father, as I said, wait on you in truth, the season launch me into the leaks of men. That you answer before they pray in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father, in the season of waiting among the saints in Nigeria and Africa, grant the same and experience of speedy answers to all your prayers in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call on me and I will answer thee and I will show you great and mighty things. Which that no is not. It's understand. Let's pray for all the saints, including you and I and our families and our churches. Say Jesus, in the season of waiting among the saints in Nigeria and Africa, grant the saints an experience of speedy answers to all their prayers in the name of Jesus. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession. May God blesses you tomorrow. Pray that this day will be a day of God's favor for you in Jesus' name. Thank you for